We're learning new information about shootings in Norfolk's Neon District. One suspect was in court today. 23 year old Taj Marbley faces several charges, including three counts of attempted to commit malicious wounding and other gun charges. This is for a shooting on Granby back in August. But as 10 on your side, John Dowding reports, that was only one of several shootings darkening a usually bright area in the Mermaid City. Yeah, not just darkening the area, Stephanie and Regina, but creating a headache for many business owners. Those we, well, those we spoke to say it's getting too expensive to constantly replace their storefronts. They say Marbley's court appearance today, although a step in the right direction, doesn't solve the problems they have on Granby Street. 23-year-old Taj Marbley appeared in Norfolk General District Court today. His case, including four of his felony charges, is headed to a grand jury. He faces three counts of attempted malicious wounding, three counts of use of a firearm, one count for felony possession of a weapon, and one count destruction of property. It all stems from an August altercation outside the Culture Lounge in the Neon District on August 12th. Two witnesses appeared in court today for the preliminary hearing. A security guard testified in court today. He says he and another security guard ran over to break up a fight. A brief verbal altercation took place between Marbley and the other security guard when they broke it up. Afterwards, he said Marbley went to a vehicle, pulled out an assault rifle, and pointed it at him and the other security guard, as seen in surveillance video. They fired first at him after a brief verbal exchange. That's when the defendant shot back, allegedly sending bullets into a local business across the street. The business owner spoke in court today about the damages, saying bullets broke through her storefront and even went into her office. We spoke to business owners back in August when a separate shooting sent bullets flying into neighboring businesses a block away just a couple days earlier. Four men were injured in that shooting. Business owners say they've met with city leaders pleading for changes so they can stop constantly paying to fix their storefronts. And business owners say they've been on edge and frustrated that these shootings keep on happening. Now, as for Marbley, he was denied bond earlier, a request for bond, and a grand jury will decide whether to indict him on his charges. In the newsroom tonight, John Dowding, 10 on your side.